Hi everybody, it's me, Mr. Peets. So uh, today I'm going to talk to you about value um, and what value is and then how to make a block gradient and a smooth gradient with uh, just plain old paper and pencil. All right, um, I also brought with me a straight edge. Uh, I'm gonna use this triangle for to get some of those straight lines. So I'm gonna be using that. Um, so real quick, just kind of give you a little brief overview. Values deal with how light or dark something is. So it's the lights and the darks. So for example, if you have, let's say a color, um, blue, for example, uh, you can say that uh, light blue and dark blue are the different values of blue. So um, each color has its own um, scale from light to dark. Um, and I'm going to show you just with bl basic black and white and then the grays in between um, on how to do that with just basic pencil to do a gradient. Um, and then, of course, you're going to take a picture and upload this to classroom. Okay, so we're going to start off by making a block gradient. All right. And what I want you to do is we're going to make a sort of along the top of the paper here. Um, I'm going to draw a pretty long rectangle. Let's say about an inch high and approximately, I don't know, eight or nine inches wide. It doesn't have to be exactly like mine, but just as long as I could see that you did this and that you demonstrated um, this the way that I'm showing you. So now you have this rectangular shape here. Um, we're going to separate this um, into seven different sections. So let's do this. I'm going to separate one. So that's one block, two, three, four, five, oh, let's get rid of that, six, seven. Okay, and it doesn't have to be perfect, you know, perfect width and all that. I'm not going to expect you to do that. Um, but I do want you to have seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the reason why I want you to have seven is because I want to have one in the middle. So, so I want that odd number. Um, and right over here on this left side, I'm going to put a W. And that's going to stand for white. And over here, I'm going to put capital B L and that's going to stand for black. All right. And then under here, the, the very middle one, I'm going to call that M G. And that stands for middle gray. So we want this gray over here to be the most middle of middle grays. So what you're going to do is this box is going to stay uh, white. So let's label that box one. All right. So we're not going to shade in here. Now your pencil point um, I want you to notice that it's kind of like, even though you have the point itself, I want you to kind of use the side of the pencil that's going to help you shade. Um, I sort of hold the pencil like this as if my hand is surfing on the pencil. Um, it just kind of loosens me up and then I'm using the side of the pencil, I'm not using the point. And then, so for box number two, I'm going to just shade it very lightly. This is basically going to be a very, very light gray. And it doesn't have to be perfectly neat, you know, staying in the lines, but try to be reasonable with this. Okay. Now, whoops. Now for box number three, we're going to go a little bit darker. So we're going to take that side of the pencil and we're going to shade this little darker not too dark remember this is like still lighter than middle gray but what's important is you want to make sure that this box number three is definitely going to be darker than number two which is definitely darker than number one okay so that as you continue going in this direction it always gets darker you don't want any boxes to look the same if they do you have to change that up okay so box number four which is our middle gray that's going to be middle-ish shading camera is probably shaking as I'm trying to shade this in. Okay, I can actually go a little darker because it's still a little too close to number three. So I want to make it a little bit darker and that's okay. You want to kind of look at any errors and, and fix it from there. So now we're at middle gray. Now we're going to continue to go darker and darker to the point where we're basically like pushing the pencil down um, really, really, really hard. 
So we're on box number five. All right. And we're going to go a little darker. And I definitely want to look back at ba uh, box number four and make sure that it is slightly darker than box number four. That's super important. All right. And I can see that it is darker. So now we're going to go to number six. Almost done with the block gradient. And we're going to go even darker. All right, now pencils don't make anything perfectly black um, because uh, this type of graphite, it actually kind of looks silvery. But I am going to start to use the point here just because I want to make it look really, really dark. All right, so definitely seeing that six is darker than five. And then I'm going to do the last one, which is basically going to be really, 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 really dark. And you might have to go over this a couple of times too. Yeah, okay, now we're cooking. So this looks a lot darker than number six. So now you could see it there, you see this transition from light to light gray to middle gray, darker gray, and then the hardest we could possibly press with a pencil. Of course, pencil again is not perfectly black, but you know, it's. Um, you know, that's as dark as I'd like you to try to get it, all right? And then I'm going to have you do one more, uh, another rectangle. So I'm drawing, it's going to be about the same size, not perfectly same size, but, you know, about an inch high. And eight, nine inches across. Okay. Now... This is going to be our smooth gradient. Since this one's a block gradient because they're separated by blocks, this one we're not going to separate by blocks. This one's going to be a little bit trickier, but it's still not going to be difficult. All right, I'm going to move this closer to you so you can see it a little bit better. So this side's going to be white, just like before. And this side's going to be black, the L for black. And then I want to make sure that I have middle gray in the middle. All right. And then what you're going to do is you're going to start to, you want to kind of do it very lightly. And then as you kind of move your way down, it's going to get darker. And you want there to be a pretty smooth transition. And I'm looking at the, the, the space in front of it, making sure that it, it's, it is getting progressively darker. And then I'm pretty much coming to the end here, and it's going to get real, real dark. As much as I can get it. Sorry about the camera shake again. My laptop is actually on the same table I'm drawing on, so you're getting all that shake. All right, so now you, you can kind of see it's got like a nice smooth progression from white to middle gray to dark. Um, I want to continue to kind of play around with this. I wish it, it could be a little bit neater. So I'm going to go in here and just kind of go backwards in the other direction and just kind of smooth out. I, I don't want to see any distinctive edges or lines. Remember, it's got to be completely smooth. Okay, coming to the middle gray section. And then it's getting really, really light to the point where it gets totally white over here. Now, um, well, another thing you could do is uh, I'm going to use my finger, but if you want to use like a tissue or a little piece of paper towel or something like that, um, or you can even rip a little piece of paper and bunch it up. And then what you're going to do is rub. So I'm going to start over here on the darker side and I'm just going to kind of blend this with my, with my finger. And it just kind of gives it a little bit of a of a nicer blend. Okay, so it's a much it's much smoother. Okay, so we talked about a block gradient, and we talked about a smooth gradient. Okay, and uh, again, this because we're demonstrating values here, the lights and darks. So let's say that this was blue. Well, then these would be the, all the different values of blue. You'd have very, um, pretty much white. Then middle gray would be blue. And then 
over here would be black, but then it would, but instead of being gray, it would be very light blue, then to blue, then to dark blue, then to black. And you can do that with any color because what we're demonstrating here, like I said before, is we're talking about the different values or the lights and darks of a color. Um, and the same thing here, except instead of it being a block, we have a nice smooth gradient. All right, I look forward to seeing your guys' work. Um, and just go ahead and turn it in. Make sure you click turn in as well. All right, I look forward to seeing your work and uh, have a good one.